Themes that tend to recur across my individual art projects are themes such as history, memory, translation and migration. And oftentimes I'm, I'm really concerned with um, trying to give aesthetic shape uh, to histories that in, in different ways uh, or for different reasons have been silenced or marginalized or contested. So I'm presenting three works one of them is a video installation. It's a multi-channel video installation titled Reiterations of Descent. And it consists of, of eight different videos that are each about 10 minutes long and they're looped and shown, each of them on an independent monitor in, in a circular shaped room. All the videos are played simultaneously as you enter um, the space and each of the videos give a different perspective or a different approach to the suppressed history and fragmented memories of the Jeju April 3rd uprising and massacre from a present day perspective. What I try to do with the work is to give a multifaceted uh, account of this event and the multiple ways in which this event is, is uh, commemorated at present. Another work that I'm presenting is a work titled Apertures, Spectres, Rifts. And as you approach this work from a distance, what you immediately experience is a red glow. But then as you move closer, you see that it's, it's a light box. Um, and coming closer again, you realize that there's uh, a number of photographs inside, but you can't quite discern uh, what they depict. So you have to come really uh, very close to the light box in order to see the details. And then what is shown in the light box are photographs um, from North Korea. Some of the photographs I took uh, during a travel uh, to North Korea last year. And the other half of the photographs are photographs uh, taken um, from a book by Danish journalist Kate Fleron, who in 1951 went to North Korea. So I juxtapose photographs from the Korean War with photographs taken last year, um, which was the 70th anniversary of the division of Korea. In relation to this work, I show another work titled Seeing Shades of Red, and it's an unlimited edition poster uh, that is placed on the ground and the viewer can take a poster with them. On the poster, um, there is a text uh, in which I um, alternate between reflections on the notion of images and uh, different associations to the color red. Red is a very multifaceted color, so it also carries a lot of connotations to different emotions. Red as in love, red as in war, red as in rage, red as in blood, as in family ties, or red as in red scare or red alert. So what I work with uh, with these two works actually is on the one hand um, thinking about how uh, we oftentimes um, encounter photographs through a filter, particularly when thinking about charged images. And this filter uh, that exists in between us and, and the images, I think, carry all of the different associations and uh, cultural baggage, uh, the different connotations that we bring to an image that are not necessarily inherent within the images themselves. And with the work, uh, I was interested in, in creating some kind of nuanced reflection around um, both different ways of seeing, uh, ways of image making or technologies around image making, um, and, and trying to also, in some ways, um, give a kind of nuanced commentary to um, the division of Korea.